Hey guys, Omaha here. Today I'm going to be playing some Alan Wake 2. Uh, I have not played the first one, but I did watch a couple recap videos, so I kind of have a general idea of what's going on. And I did beat Control, so that's connected to this universe now. Um, yeah, if you've watched my videos in the past, you know I've only done Baldur's Gate 3 videos so far. So uh, I'm kind of just doing this for me, uh, just to you know mix it up a little bit, try something different. And I have no experience whatsoever being on camera, so this is kind of just to get me on camera. So if I'm a little bit awkward or uh, a little bit nervous maybe or anxious, that's definitely the reason. Well, actually this game's a little scary supposedly too, so maybe that's part of it. But yeah, we're just gonna jump on into it and we'll do normal difficulty. Yeah, I'm super excited to play this game. I've heard a lot of good things about it and I haven't had anything spoiled for me yet, luckily. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with like John Wick without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. What's the lake? This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. We're jumping right into it. All right. So the plan is this guy. Is it, who is this guy? Hmm. This is eerie. I like it. Oh snap. something whispering man that's creepy there's like sounds in the bushes too this game isn't messing around nice Damn. starting off strong this game's gonna be full of jump scares I can already tell Got me pretty good. Wasn't expecting it that early on. I hear some up here, it's definitely. Oh, oh crap. What was that? One of those shadow guys from like the first game. Little house over there. 
I mean, I hear them all around me. Yeah, I'm good. No thanks. Oh, snap to there too. Dang. Oh, I can hear him running right behind me. I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Oh, yep. Pretty sure I'm supposed to die. they were trying to do besides kill him. Crazy start. Game's gonna be good. I already tell. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Bye, kiddo. Oh yeah, doesn't this guy voice Max Payne or something? I think I read that or something. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Yeah, definitely. Wonder where she gets that from. It's pretty cool. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Aldrin Lake. Yeah, the graphics are insane. Look. It looks so good. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten okay. by a bear? I'll check out that map. Invitation. Return one. Map. Oh, cool. So we're all the way over here. Hmm. Witch's ladle? 
which is hot. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Uh, I could use a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Okay. Any witnesses to the crime? Were there any witnesses? Yeah. A couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods. Oh, so they made it out. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. Look. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Thornton. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Guess I'm in charge, so I'll go first. Before we get to the crime scene, oh, man, I have to view. review the facts of the case so far. Looks like Crater Lake. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Looks super cool. You can access the case board inside the mine place. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. Oh, sick. To sift through clues and work the case. That's cool. This Building is like inside her head. Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. That's so cool. The Looks super awesome. Board. Hmm. Case board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Okay. Worth taking another look. Victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. Oh, that was when the first game took place, I think, so. Case board's mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Hmm. So three people. Ted Lane, dentist. Wendy Davis, teacher. Percy Wolf, store owner. They. Oh. Hmm. Bruising on the wrists and legs, deep gash in the chest, heart missing. All bodies experience bloating. It's the lake, man. You're now free to navigate the case board. Okay. Killer profile. Postmortem tattooing. No discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. And they were wearing like deer heads too. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Using the mind place does not it. pause the game, so be mindful started. of nearby threats. Let's that head sucks. down the hill to the crime scene. Man, so I could just get like mauled while I'm in that. Ooh. Man, it loads so fast, that's that's crazy. Reminds me of, like PS5 loading times right there. I'm playing this on PC by the way, so yeah. Hey Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. <laughs> You've cracked cases that have the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. 
Seems like he's ready to get over with. He's sprinting. Near peak. Hmm. Oh, maybe sprinting because I'm sprinting. <laughs> Let's keep doing it. Cauldron Lake. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the General local store. law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on oh, me. Oh, I hear someone over there. Must be the deputy. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Hmm. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. Those are real? You guys hiring? <laughs> Let's just see this body, shall we? Oh, there he is. They already got evidence marked. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Like strapped him down. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. That's brutal. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine place. Okay. C allows Saga to see active clues. Key image can be selected with the left click. Just in case. All right. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Using a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. Nice. Consistent with previous murders. My key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable on the case board and your goals. So investigate the crime scene. Okay. Noise. Collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open, heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Hmm. Is that it? New discovery clues can be placed in the open question. That's cool. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. Probably because those this people are watching. Four murders that we know about. Clues have resolved the open question unlocked a deduction. To advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked updating your goals. The victim and the killers. Updated goals. Okay, learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Who is our victim? Who killed him? What is this? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. Oh. The victim. I was looking here. at like the stick or something. <laughs> okay. Number two and three. Multiple people were here. Footprints. Multiple killers? I got some beer. Someone was drinking beer. I guess they were just chilling. They spent time here, waiting. Someone tripod. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. So they were like recording it. Was chilling. it for a camera? Murder and chill, I guess. Get the case board, maybe. 
Oh yeah, let's put these on here. Heavy blood spotter on the table. So I guess the victim. Oh, maybe not. Killers. I guess that's like their MO thing. Uh, multiple sets of footprints. That's the killers. Footprints multiple assailants present. Multiple Messy killers. scene, crime of passion, premeditated. Quite the party. I'd say premeditated with the tripod. For later. Okay. Anything else around here? Hmm. Maybe I follow the footprints. Looks like they maybe come from over here. I don't see any right here. But there's a path, so maybe this way. Oh, it's a house here. Maybe there's clues out here. Ooh, ooh. A creepy twig sculpture. Big sculpture. Chest or something. Wonder what's inside. Confused, follow these steps. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the thing. fridge, take a nap. I mean, that sounds like a pretty chill afternoon. The lock. Oh, this. Oh, I need three symbols. So I'm guessing it has to do with these three things. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Wash your hands. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Okay. Oh, there's symbols in here. There's the sink. Okay, there's a sink. Two triangles side by side. I don't know. Oh, here's there's one on the fridge, so that's probably the second one. That might be the first one. I don't, know, I don't see any other ones around it. Oh, here we go. So there's a sink there. So an up and down triangle. Let's wash your hands, then take the chicken out of the fridge would be that. And then I think it's like take a nap. Oh. Let's be in here. Oh, take a nap. First drawing a waterline, there's maybe lava. This must be like another clue for something else. Oh, it's just drawings on the paper. It's a warning. Hmm. Alright. So we got those. That one. And then that one. Let's try it out. See how smart I am. How smart I think I am. That was the first one. Uh, I think it was that one. And then... This one, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got it. Sweet. What is this, ammo? Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. What is this? Like a alcohol pad or something? I said to come back. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. Oh. He came to town about that guy's in the first game. years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. He's like obsessed with Alan Wake, trying to Until catch him for. I think he mur they, He thought he murdered everyone Nightingale. or something. Probably knew him, brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. This is gonna be discovered by speaking to people as well as examining your surroundings. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state, but yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Oh yeah, I forgot he got fired too. Happened after he got so fired. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. 
I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Hmm. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder I'm missing in 2010 and then he came out of the lake now. Probably something this town That's crazy. wants to forget. Wonders all bloated. I think that's everything. For now at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go case board. Um went off the deep end after I fired him, so that'd be victim. Victim is Robert Nightingale. It's clearly the victim. Robert Nightingale. Ex FBI. Nice, now I got these. Falls 13 years ago. Mental state questionable at time of disappearance. Premeditated or spontaneous? Definitely premeditated. Cooler and beer bottles. And tripod. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They I like this little case board him. thing. It's pretty sweet. But why Nightingale? Makes you feel smart. He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profile. Get into the subject. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Profiling. Uh, okay, Nightingale. Oh, I didn't even read what that said. So, missing person or ritual murder? Do I choose one? And they're both kind of true. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. That sounds creepy. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Hmm, that's weird. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. Who's he? You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Hmm. Case board. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now? She can just feel that? I mean, I guess he was bloated, so. Yeah. Goals. Check the lake shore. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Yeah, right. you go first. Okay. I like that. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. And you can stay here by yourself. Watch that guy just like disappear or something. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. We run. It's not that complicated. Yeah, Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses the bookers. It's a big tree. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing? Which is ladle. At this time of year? Or haven't figured that part out chest yet. Chest is like a horn. A witch with no heart. Oh. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Footprints coming out of the tree. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Yes. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? 
They come out like from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Yes. Yes, exit. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a Page message. of a story? It's like Alan Wake's story or something? It's for us. Oh, what? The text is about us. Dude, that's so creepy. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. That something's about to go down. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. That's Alan someone Wake. knew they were here. Someone playing a game it. with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting, hurting them. Sounds nice. Someone's been watching us. Playing sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Right. What happened to Nightingale? Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Hmm. Any script pages can be read inside. Nightingale about this page. Mind, please. Go here again. Oh yeah, the page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his Something chest. in his chest? I must find out what. Interesting. Manuscript. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna just read it. Caseboard. I like put these on now. Footprints. And the tree. I think Too many unknowns doesn't away. make sense asking wrong questions. But his tracks make no sense. Anything else here? Nightingale is something hidden inside of him. Reading the words, which are like a message. Found all I can hmm. here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Need to get the body back to town for examination. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Sounds Let's good to me. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Let's get okay. out of these woods. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. Look at this one. The text said there. We'd find more. Oh, maybe this is the way I came from the first time. But what's the purpose? No, I didn't go this way. They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? The witch's hut. Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their Might as well desires? check it out. Oh man, it's dark. Are we characters or the audience? Yo, my flashlight doesn't work anymore? Witnesses to their design? Oh man. All the above? It's all about control. I guess it does. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. So. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Is there anything in here? Hmm. Oh, that's nice. You live the Witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, spirit may be haunting this place. May still haunt this place. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? Let's go back. This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime. Where'd the guy go? I'm not gonna say no to quality time with oh, the there volcano. Is. You made it back. I mean, Good. my daughter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, 
I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. Deer I'll do it fest? myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a game just all tapped itself out. To the gate, it's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Oh, nice. Give me that. Shortcut key. Thanks. Take the car back to Bright Falls. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. It's already halfway there. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. What's this? Hmm. Oh, there's something here. Is that a kid's lunchbox? Old An case. Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey We're hates the endless jokes together. about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates the movies. Manuscript fragments. But he really hates the movies. Hmm. Guess I should explore a little more. Future. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. Oh, sick. Pistols. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. Increase the magazine size by 50%. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. That sounds super good. I feel like that would be the best one. I don't know if we would need auto fire necessarily. I guess it depends. Man, the auto headshot thing, or that headshot thing sounds pretty nice. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. The flash, the flash doesn't turn on every time. Maybe it's on like bad. Oh, it is on. It's just really dim. Here we are. Nice. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. All right. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. Yeah, she's got some crazy hunches. I think she's got like I wasn't sure hours or something. Case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Oh, this town looks sick. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Walk to the diner. These graphics are so good, it's crazy. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell Blooded. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Let's check the map here. Are they all connected? Oh, Bright Falls, Quadro. Okay. Hmm. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> oh, dear diner. <laughs> don't know, don't care. 
How much did you have? Not enough. That's how much. Never Oh dear. You. Oh dear. Oh what? Let me guess. The FBI. It's the guy from Quantum Break. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got it's the same actor. Out. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Sheriff Breaker. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. His facial animations are just insane. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to oh, say. Oh, nice, we're gonna talk to the people that saw Casey, the murder. you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Let's get it. Oh, these guys right here. Still feel like I'm gonna be sick. On, Excuse me, Hassan. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not <laughs> charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Why were you there? What were you doing at Colgin late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. In like the middle of the Perfectly night. Perfectly legal. This guy's so on edge. She's like super chill. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy. Shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Hmm. What makes you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, oh. and then we found out. The whole thing was... What was that? Terrifying. That's all. It's kind of sass. She, like, hushed him up. Hello. Mm hmm. Let's do some profiling. Profiling. Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. She's gonna use some superpower and find out. Two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Man, that is just crazy. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. Through the talking like no that. No trespassing. My book has questions. My Pass book has book questions. questions. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. Man. Crazy how she makes all those uh, deductions. Anything here? Aces. Lunch boxes. Oh yeah, that's like the thing we found. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Actually a whole case. Snap. Alright. Guess so. Lunchbox found by the FPC monitoring station at Cauldron Lake. One of interest cases track objects and information that Saga has acquired to chart collection. Oh, so it's like collectibles. Oh, so you track them in here too. It's pretty cool. 
Cauldron like murders. Unless we can add these guys. Describe multiple attackers wearing deer masks, chanting and tearing together with knives. We're dealing with an organized group of not killers. Not a serial killer. Not a lone serial killer. He's close. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. Oh, yeah. This case just became much sense. more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. <laughs> so excited about it? I'm not. Cult stashes. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Hmm. Stash found. Oh, that's that just thing I found. Yes. Oh, there's some in Bright Falls too. Hmm. Cult of the Tree. I need to know more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. Background case that can make clues about broader ongoing topics. Wearing deer masks. Kind of cult, who's involved, cult goal. <clears throat> cult psychology. Triangle figures made from twigs. Nice. Goals interview the witness at the diner. Okay. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hand it Told over. You not to keep that thing Man, I just saw someone's heart get ripped down. They're here sitting here eating this. Man. Because I don't care. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. Rose. Like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh god. Saga! Saga Anderson. As okay. I live and breathe. It's our first I time here. We'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I what do. In the world? And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? That's so creepy. The heck? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Yo, Happens this game's getting crazy. All the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. That's so if trippy. You say so. Yeah, this game's setting up the plot points. All right. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Let's do it. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? Played some D and D back in the day. Hey, Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Playing Looks Druid, like man. Some guests. Ah, all about that Druid time. game. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. You always had been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. 
She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. I didn't seem concerned at all that she like knew her name. It's definitely weird. Hey boss. That's town like feels alive. It's kinda of cool. People doing stuff everywhere. In the morgue, all prep. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Let's do it. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Yo, what just happened to that guy's leg? You see that, dude? What the heck? So we share this guy's really need home next door. stretching so his leg out. I guess you guys. Guess don't he is getting old. Though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Uh, nothing like the pitch black morgue. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. This guy's legs got some issues. He's joking. The <laughs> heck he keeps. Uh, that's funny. Okay. I think it's his last case. I mean, Let's he's falling apart. All patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Okay. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Probably getting his heart cut out. If I'd guess. Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. They did? What? There's what writing on here. They wrote on his Can't heart? How do they even do that? Writing? How'd they manage that? Exactly. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. Wait, what? It doesn't After he matter. died? It's like walking out of the lake though. Unless he was dead already. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo. Like text guy. to me, it looks like uh stripes. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Beast board. Cases. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. And by the end of the game, I'm gonna have so many different like pins connecting everything. Anything to learn from the body? Bruises, defensive wounds, smudge text under victim's skin. Ritual writing. Okay. Illegible words on heart. I'll probably go there. <clears throat> text is smudged. Views on body and heart. How did killers have time? Doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. Didn't they like leave to run after the two, uh, the bookers? Bloating of joints indicates long-term water exposure. Guess I could have came back. Chest ripped open. Something visible inside. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? It's like, what's, what are these guys doing when I'm in here in the mind place? Just putting up and visit, like, make believe pictures and stuff. Sitting here waiting. Oh, he's gonna, like, grab her arm. He's gonna come alive or something and grab her. It's like someone's wallet. Cold the tree left a tip. Put that iPad around. Found a cauldron lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them. Oh, Made he wrote that. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Uh, what? Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. He was killing with no heart. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Yo, it's about to get real right now. I can already tell. Oh snap! 
Kid's dead. There's gonna be something behind him. No, 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 wait. No, what? Sheriff? What the hell? Oh crap. Show me the clicker. He's strong, he just lifted him up just with one arm. Dang. This is wild. Better hurry and get up. Ready to get this. Let me in that light. Ah, oh, don't do it. This dude looks sketch. I'll make you pay. He's coming. No weapon. The page is set to get into the light. Yeah, let me in that light. I'm chilling here. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Already damaged? Oh, I guess in the cutscene. I'm healing. Oh, I can hear him breathing. Oh man, he looks sketch. He can't see me in the light. That's good. Are they gonna leave? My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Jeez, this dude looks scary. Safe havens will restore some of your health if you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat. It will become temporarily invaluable. Go. Man. Oh, here we go. Give me right behind me. Oh man, she got wrecked. Oh crap! Here comes. So. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, he's gonna be right behind her. Maybe I'll just call it there. How's that? An hour? Uh, I'm going to do about two hours for the rest of them, but I'm actually really tired right now. I worked like a 12 hour day, so uh, I'm going to cut it there for today. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed it and if you guys want to see more. Um, I know I typically do Baldur's Gate videos, but you know, maybe you guys uh, enjoyed it. So let me know and comment down below if there's something I can improve on. I want to get better at doing this. Uh, especially since that was my first time on camera. I want to be, you know, myself and more natural. So that'll come with time too. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content. And we'll see you guys next time.